What do you What did you wear? Uh, obviously, you know you're in the army at the time, uh, but uh, what were you wearing throughout the time you were in Korea? Was it always a uniform? And uh, did it change with the seasons? I know it gets quite hot and quite cold and quite rainy in Korea. Yes, it did. But it was always uniform. Right. Um, the uniform for winter, which was a very harsh time, mm. was uh, most uh, was uh, a balaclava. Mm. On your head, yeah. Uh, then a, a windproof jacket, yeah, over a very heavy sweater, over a very heavy woolen shirt, uh, over a string singlet. Right. Yeah. The string singlet being to circulate uh, the air around your body and to stop the perspiration from freezing. Right. Did you still feel cold, even with all that? Oh, not cold? really. Yeah. No. The, the, the clothing we wore was yeah. outstanding. It was British. Yeah. So just jumping it, we'll, we'll talk about operational matters a little bit later, but when you went on patrol, for argument's sake, how did you balance all this warm clothes with the need to remain alert and also, when you're moving around, you you start to uh, uh, you start to uh, sweat more. How how did that you... wasn't that wasn't difficult, right? In fact, as I remember, it wasn't a consideration. Okay, we just uh, moved normally. Mm. I did admit the the trousers we wore were were the same material as the jacket, which is windproof. Mm. It's about three layers of material. Cotton or wool. Oh, cotton. Cotton, right, yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah, and uh, uh, it was it was more than adequate. We, mm. uh, on our feet, we wore, um, or underneath the, underneath the trousers, we wore uh, long johns. Right. And uh, that was the underwear, and then on our feet we wore heavy socks and rubber soled boots but leather uppers on the boots right and uh, they were they were superb yeah i wore i wore the same pair of boots the whole time i was there great yeah pretty durable yeah very yeah. durable and what about uh, as as uh, as um, winter gave way to summer? How did how did what what did you do with your winter uniform? How did you stow that? Uh, we had uh, kit bags. Right. Okay. Yep. We just stuffed it in all okay. into the kit bag. Right. And was there an area in the rear echelon somewhere you could stow those, or yes, you, you could, took them you with you? Could or? Send it down to. Uh, uh, the, the QM, the quartermaster store, and that's normally where it was kept. Right. You, Tagged and kept there. Yeah. Now, you were a platoon commander when you first arrived in... Yes, I was. And which unit was that with, Gus? 1st Battalion, Royal Australian Regiment. Yeah. Did you know any members of the battalion or your platoon before you arrived in Korea? No, I didn't. Right. What was that like? Um, again, this is more a question for someone who... Has, has no experience in the military or having worked in a in a in the army before. What was it like going to a overseas for the first time to a country you didn't know, in war, meeting people, some of who you were commanding, who you'd never met before? Did you feel that your training had adequately prepared you for that? Or was... Oh, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. had no qualms about going yeah. going to a war. Didn't worry me at all. Yeah. And uh, had any of the battalion members served in the Second World War? Um, some of the more senior officers had. Right. But only, uh, probably only the CO. 
Okay. Uh, for any length of time. Who was the CEO when you arrived? Uh, Colonel Austin. Right. Were there any prominent lessons learnt from the Second World War or the earlier years in Korea that shaped your arrival or your your conduct or how the battalion or your platoon operated when you were in Korea? No, not really. Uh, I, I, when I arrived, I uh, was driven by jeep from Seoul to the front line. Yep. I met the commanding officer and some of his other officers. We had lunch and then I was jeeped up to right onto the front line. Um, I met my uh, company commander and... Uh, Who was your company commander? Joe Mann. Right, two N's? Yeah. He made yeah. a double N. Yeah. His real name was Adrian. But he was known to everybody as Joe. Oh, right. Yeah. Mm. Um, so you left Japan. What Do you remember what time of day you left Japan? Yeah, first thing in the morning. And so, and you mentioned you had lunch with the CO and you're at meeting the company commander in the evening. When, no, I oh, met the company commander just after lunch. Beg your pardon, just after lunch. And so in this, within the space of well within the space of 24 hours you went from Japan to Seoul, Seoul to being basically on the front line with, with your men that's right yep. it was about from Seoul to the front line was about 25 miles right and that would have taken around about an hour to travel yeah Yeah. Right. Uh, how long was there between the time you were told you were going to Korea and the time you arrived in Korea or Japan? So um, notification or posting order to... Um, to uh, oh, not long, yeah. long, you know, a day or so. Okay. And, uh, but we were really on standby, okay. wait, waiting to, yep. to go because we'd uh, been granted leave we got about a week's leave before we went. Right. What was the weather like when you arrived in Korea? In, in Seoul. In Seoul. Oh, it was pretty cold. Yeah, it right. Was because it was the middle of winter. Yeah. And snow, snow on the ground. Yeah. Uh, can you remember any prominent smells or sounds when you arrived? No, not no. really. Yeah. yeah. We just piled out of the aircraft and lined up, and and uh, and then we were immediately picked up by jeep. Mm. The troops went up in the trucks, and uh, it was as simple as that. Yeah. When you were moving around the country, was there many were there many locals on or near the roads and? How did they react to soldiers passing by? Yes, there were. Uh, they were mostly people with their hawks and stalls mm. selling things. The Koreans are, uh, are very, uh, what's the word? Uh, Enterprising? I'm trying to think. Yeah. Uh, they were very able people. They... For example, out of a beer can, yeah, uh, they wouldn't throw it away. They wouldn't throw that away. They'd make a um, an ashtray, right? Yeah, out of it. Yeah, and then try to sell you the ashtray. Brilliant. Mm. Were they wearing the traditional white no. uh, hanbok, or what sort of clothes would, were the locals wearing? They were wearing. Dark type of material, fairly cheap. Right. Um, you have to remember that uh, most of the, the Koreans were a farming stock. Yeah. They grew rice. Right. And uh, so they spent a fair bit of time in the mud. Yeah. In the rice paddies. Yeah, sure. Mm. Yep. As you. As you drove up to the front, yeah, I mean, there's 
wasn't a wasn't a sealed road. It was yeah. A, it was a dirt road, mm. and on either side was paddy fields. Yeah, right. So uh, 